Brennan, do you have a remote control? No. You don't have a remote control for the VCR? No. Well, how, okay, we, we gotta set it up then. Just push, yeah. All right, push here it. it is, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, here we are again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get me out of this. Brendan oh, and I, uh, this was like too good to pass up. A, uh, a chance to visit, uh, actually to spend three hours with uh, the remaining surviving cast of uh, Gilligan's Island. Brendan, what? What? Uh, what? So you've met every, you've worked with every one of these folks. Yes, one time or another. Oh, and that horrible haircut. I'm in that idiotic jacket. Oh, look at my hair, it looks awful. Yes. You think they'll remember you? What? You think they'll remember you? Well, we'll, I'll, we'll see. What, what's it's your favorite a, Gilligan's Island episode? Favorite episode? Uh, which one was that? Had to be one that when they set the huts up with the, uh, the mast on it, tried to get off the island, and they made it off, but got back on. Got washed back on by a storm. What? That wasn't an episode, that was one of the reunion movies. You're kidding. No. Rescue Gilligan's Island. <laughs> There's actually a song, um, they do the, the Gilligan's Island theme song to Stairway to Heaven. Oh really? Yeah, I've heard about yeah, that. Yeah, I thought we'd use that. That's perfect. Use that as the use that as the soundtrack. But there's, there's no better title than a three hour tour. Right. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip That started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship the Here's the professor. I love you just getting, you're, you're like the first one there taking pictures. Here he is. Three hour tour. Enjoy Morley! Look at you! Hey, Hi cutie. You see a camera always wave. She's beautiful. Oh, it was for that one. What's your cap say? Oh, the guy with the hat. Oh, you, oh, you got the all signed his hat, didn't you? This is all coming back to the bad dream. I'm supposed to get all the signatures of the Gillian's Island that belong to Maryland JCs. They got Waldorf JCs, and they're gonna um, autograph it all, and then we're gonna donate the hat to an auction. You know, it's good cause. To be VIP. No, I the press. You did the press or? I'm not sure what I am. Okay, um, I'll get my I'm only boarding here by the VIP bracelets right now. We have the VIP tickets. No, you need the, the yellow bracelet. You have to go get the bracelet. This is a fundraiser, and they lost money. This is, this is just like the love boat. <laughs> In fact, everyone's been on the love boat, all these castaways, many times. I wonder if anybody else has <laughs> talked about that. <laughs> Boyhood hero. Oh, great. And I used to have dreams that we were on the island and room together <laughs> on adventures. You met him? I did. Uh, what can I say? You know, uh, I can die a happy man. This is the most exciting thing to hit DC in years. <laughs> My son watches this all the time. <laughs> He's the one who really wanted to be here. How come he didn't come? <laughs> he had two tickets. That's <laughs> why. <So> <laughs> Kind of expensive. Yeah. <laughs> she should go to Tina because she's not going to hang around. I think she's a good off. That's what I think. She's not in a good mood? No. We have a terrible invasion of privacy. Of his freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the first thing she's ever done, Tina Louise. She's never done one of these before. It's, ama kidding. it's amazing. That's, that's why I wanted to go so bad. I need my rights. He's our president. He's running for president. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you keep the hat? In a safe place. <laughs> Would you mind if I got my picture with you? No, Thank you. As well as do you mind when people Thank call you Mary Ann? I'm so used to it now. You know, I answered anything, even if it's not they're talking to me. Who are you? Tina, I'm are his you? personal photographer. Yeah. What are you shooting for? Uh, oh, I don't know. We're stalking the stalking the castaways. Okay. So, what do you want? It's a great team. Okay. We're gonna let everybody else bug you. Oh, okay. We're not gonna bug you. Yeah. Is your wife here? Yes, yeah, she is. So I there's talked to her many times too. Yeah. What's your name again? Constance. Constance, right. So Miss Johnson. <laughs> yes. Do you uh, have any memorabilia from the show? A few things. A few things. 
Do you know, um, I mean, apparently, like, the trading cards are worth, like, $2,000. Oh, I know. No, we don't have any of those things. We don't have any of the old scripts. None of the really treasured things. No. Long gone, my dear. Long gone. How about his white shirt? Pardon? The professor's white shirt? No. Did he keep that? No. You got a doll, huh? Yeah. Oh, what's you that? You hold this and I'll sign that. That's a deal. What do you think? You signed those before? Where do you find the best place to sign those up? Must be great to be a celebrity. You think? Yes. Have people just clamoring for your picture. I mean, these are all people in their 60s. Who nobody cares for people in their 60s unless they're celebrities? Yeah, but then you'd have to get facelifts and... They've all had that. They have not bothered them. <laughs> all three of them. Except for Gilligan. <laughs> when was the last time you were together with everybody? No. Gee, that must have been eight or ten years ago. No, no, no. It was the Roseanne Show. Well, the Roseanne Show. That's right. That was about, what, five years ago? Yeah, you were all together and you played very Yeah, same. that's true. I forgot about that. Did you marry me? Close with Alan here? Oh, yes. Alan was a good friend of mine. We were good friends. Alan was a lovely... Sweet guy. I mean, what you saw in Alan is what you got. You laugh. You, you just kept going your, your like, zany laugh. My husband, Roger Perry. Nice to see you again. What a lucky guy he is. Oh, honey, hear that? You met Mr. Worley? Mr. Perry. Mr. Perry. My husband, Roger Perry. You <laughs> Mr. Worley? How many times do you want? Uh, the old love boat, probably four. How many times do you want to spend Island? I never. I think you have gold here. I really do. Gold. Cinematic gold. Festival winner. She has the coolest laugh in the business. She laughed for someone else, not for Why me. Didn't, did you ask her to yes. laugh for you? Yeah, she blew me off. Why didn't she blew you off? She, she said, didn't laugh. Did she ignore you or did she just like... She just changed the topic. Uh, so, Kay, uh, this, uh, the, back in New York, right? Yeah. She, you know, she was very nice, but she just changed the topic. But there, she laughed. <laughs> she probably laughed. She laughed. Woo! Woo! <laughs> do it. Do the laugh. Woo! Why can you do that? Like I can't do her laugh. Like, oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> I'm Mr. Denver. I just want to say how much I appreciate you. Thank you. One of my favorite actors of all time. That guy who said he's his most favorite actor of all time. <laughs> Even better, Lawrence Olivier, Bob Denver. <laughs> Robert De Niro, nothing compared to you. Tom Hanks, move out of the way. It's Bob Denver. <laughs> There's Kurt Russell. When he was a little uh, Tarzan boy in Gilead. Kurt sorry, Russell's on the Yep. Thing. And there's the Harlem. There's Academy Award, Academy Award winner Martin Landau on Harlem Globetrotters on Gilligan's Island. Whose idea was that? To break the It was supposed to be the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. Really? And they weren't available. It was football season. So they had to go with the Harlem Globetrotters. Is that true? That's a true story from Sherwood Schwartz. Because I asked him the same question. Why the Harlow Globetrotters? <laughs> was that any good? It was the worst piece of shit <laughs> on the air. Where's up the... Uh, Where's your eyes right there. Oh, yeah. Right there. Erica Tiffany Smith was her name. She was attracted to the professor. <laughs> you the You're reading the caption, you Brenda. Don not. Rickles? Where's Don Rickles? Don Rickles is down here. <laughs> With the great Tina Louise. They, you know, He's in the, the, the other room. room. Yeah. And this is Ida Lupino. Thanks. I don't know sure. if it's gonna. Are you the resident Gilligan's Island expert? I made these boards. You made these boards? Yeah. Bravo. Yeah, very good. Good job. Thank you. Can you try to stump him? Stump me. In Gilligan's Can I Island? Stump me. Stump you? What do you mean? Like, ask you a question? Like, trivia question? Trivia question about Gilligan. Uh, Drum roll. <laughs> oh gosh, a trivia question. Perfect timing. Oh, Lord. I did all the trivia stuff on the... Alright, here, here's one for you. What is Alan, who is Alan Hale's wife for me? Which do you know more about, Brady Bunch or Gilligan Island? It's pretty equal, probably the Brady Bunch though. So. Oh, scary? Yeah, Sherwood Schwartz, the creator of uh, Gilligan's Island, also created the Brady Bunch. So people like Gilligan love the Brady Bunch. They kind of go hand in hand. Which did you like better? Apples and oranges. <laughs> They're both great. You've been asked that question before. Yes. They're both Sherwood Schwartz productions, though, I must say that. So there's some... Is he's, he still alive? Yes, he's the most brilliant man in show business. Steven Spielberg, nah. George Lucas, nah. Sherwood Schwartz. 
I tell you what, Brent, we are. Everybody to sit down, okay. please, okay. guys. Everybody. All right, sit down. Thanks. All right, you happy? It look better? You looked fine before, but I'll sit, I'll sit, I'll sit there. They gave him a war, do you remember? Yes. <laughs> I think I look awful this way too. I have no good angles. Well, thank you. In all these years, Gilligan's Island hasn't received many awards. <laughs> I'm honored and I'm glad to be here. He's going for president. He looks very presidential. I mean, he really does. I feel that this is a time when our country needs much more of a woman's sensibility, intelligence, and understanding of the human spirit. And I think one of the stories I just want to relate to before I sit down is kind of what Gilligan's Island has meant to this world. It's very difficult to describe, but I think I had an, uh, an experience with a young man that sort of sums it all up, and I can't explain why, but I got a letter from a young man about to enter the Gulf War. And he wrote me a note, and he said, you know, you were my favorite actress, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm about to go off to war, and I'm 18, and I'm terrified, and I don't know if I'm gonna come back alive, and I've never been away from home, and would you please write to me? So I wrote him a letter, and didn't hear from him for about a year. And I got a letter back, also with an invitation to his wedding, and he said, you know, when your letter arrived, it was postmarked the day my troop entered Kuwait City. And he said, I just want to tell you the significance of Gilligan's Island. He said, here we all were, far away from home and terrified. And the one common denominator was, what was your favorite Gilligan's Island episode? And he said, as soon as the sun went down and the moon came up as far as you could hear, the American soldiers were teaching the foreign soldiers the theme song from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> Oh yeah. Would you like to see it? <laughs> of course you want to see it. Did you show it to Marianne? Yeah, I did. She kissed it. Oh no, look! That was like a dial in bed. <laughs> Holy shit. Are we still on the boat? Who's your favorite one or the other? I don't uh, remember which it was. Bob Denver. Bob Denver. Although I had a big thing for Tina Louise. Favorite Gilligan Island? Oh, Gilligan? Let's just get that out of my face. Enough lights! Oh boy, I, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually giving this footage to somebody to edit. Who? Josh. You should be there. <laughs> Who are you? What's <laughs> <laughs> your favorite Gilligan Island? Marianne got punked on the head and thought she was ginger. He cut up all ginger's dresses. I love that episode. That's my favorite. This poor guy. Josh, he's like... Uh, you know, he's volunteer. You volunteered. What? This, Josh, this is good for your career. He's walking to Gilligan. He spots him. Sees him. Oh, no. I hope he's not self-conscious. He is. He's looking at us. Come on, go, Richard. Go, Richard. Go, Richard. Autograph. Go. Just go. Say so you're the only one I even get. Say I love you, and you're my god. I want to marry you. <laughs> Hurry up, say it. Rich, Go. Come on, Rich. He's turning the pages. Look at him. The pen's out. He doesn't have a pen. <laughs> We're gonna force people to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get it. Come on, Richard. You can do it. You can do it. He's oh. turning him down. Oh, you're kidding. He's turning him down. Uh, he can't turn. Him. There it is. Him. All right. There he is. I'll just go spill like a big X. <laughs> the last autograph of the night. This was when it was th a three-hour three hour torture. <laughs> we, we were trapped in this boat. Beer for the road. Brendan, it's it's you, you got it's almost three in the morning. And they're here on Gilligan's Island.